Everyone knows about the ancient people who used to live in North America, mainly the Maya and the Aztec, but few people know about the Zapotec. The Zapotec, known as the Clout people, inhabited the Valley of Oaxaca not only built great ancient cities such as Monte Alban and Mitla, but also left rich cultures such as art and their one-of-a-kind weaving traditions. Oaxaca, as the center of the Zapotec Empire, dominated the language and trading. About 400,000 Zapotec scattered around Mexico nowadays, and most of them are trying to preserve their culture. In the golden age of the Zapotec Empire, the people of Teotitlan de Valle were already well known for their weaving. All the clothes and rugs were traded widely not only throughout the empire, but also beyond. Although the Zapotec Empire saw its decline, the clothes from the weavers in Teotitlan continue to be in demand. In 1521, the Spanish arrived and changed the face of Zapotec weaving forever, as they brought in sheep and new looms. Weaving materials have been replaced from cotton and cactus fiber into wool, and the greater strength required to operate the new loom led to men taking over traditional female weaving roles. However, these changes made these new clothes and rugs more durable and bigger than we see today. But some weavers in Teotitlan are trying to preserve the traditional weaving techniques that their ancestors used to do. Mi papá hablaba de su papá. Yo soy tercera generación para hacer estos tapetes. No podía leer, no podía. Pero mi papá fue uno de los mejores maestros en cuestión del tejido. Y ellos empezaron a trabajar con los telares. Y yo aprendí de mi papá. Weaving is an important part of the cultural identity of the Zapotecs in Teotitlan de Valle. The process is time-consuming and laborious, as everything is done by hand. These techniques these weavers use have been handed down for generations. Miren aquí las mujeres, pues somos las que principalmente cardamos la lana y las que hilamos. Aquí, para hacer este proceso, pues no requiere de fuerza. Todo se va haciendo suave. No, este, no requiere de tanta fuerza física, todo se va haciendo suave, la lana se va a ir suavizando. Vamos a formar la fibra que se va a utilizar aquí en la rueca para hacer el hilo, miren. En todas las mujeres aprendemos a hacer esto desde los seis años. The first process is to prepare the yarn. By using two flat brushes with short wire bristles to remove the debris in the raw wool to prepare the wool for spinning. Then the wool is taken to a spinning wheel where the wool will be pulled into yarn from the wool sheets done by the brushes. After the yarn is ready, it is time to dye them. Dyeing the yarn is more like playing with colors instead of lots of physical work. All of the dyes from Raul's workshop are authentic dyes that come from roots, leaves, fruits, and other organic materials. After the yarn is dyed, then comes the final process, weaving. It is where the weavers work their magic to create different patterns. Each family used different techniques in weaving, but the process of how to work on the loom never changes much. It is always time consuming and requires a lot of experience. Ahorita estamos rescatando lo que son los colorantes naturales, trabajamos con las hojas, cáscara, todos los colores naturales, la cochinilla, el insecto que vive en el nopal. Pues no, tal vez no, no queremos cambiar nada porque realmente pues eh, todo el proceso que se lleva a cabo pues es parte de la tradición. No, si nosotros eh, hacemos, no sé, una maquinaria más moderna, que tal vez haga el trabajo más rápido, dejaría de ser algo tradicional, pasaría a ser algo como que más 
algo más de industria, industrializado. Y nosotros pues nos gusta seguir con toda esta tradición original porque precisamente ese es el objetivo de, de, de este lugar, que todos hagamos todo así tradicionalmente porque lo, a los visitantes es lo que les gusta ver, cómo, cómo realmente se trabaja y cómo realmente se hace el proceso. Entonces, pues, no, no, nunca he visto la forma o me he puesto a pensar en cambiar toda la técnica. Ajá. Pues, más que nada, no, pues, es una tradición y una forma de trabajo, porque de esto, pues, vivimos casi el 80% del pueblo. Aquí pues no es un pueblo muy grande, es pequeño, pero el ma la mayoría pues somos tejedores. Es como una fuente de trabajo de, de nosotros, es, es parte de nuestra vida diaria. Ajá. Todos los días estamos trabajando con los telares, ah, trabaja, cardando lana, pintando y tejiendo. Es nuestro trabajo que estamos aquí todo el día. The people working to preserve these practices have begun to spread out to the cities of Oaxaca. They support the Zapotec weavers by opening shops that help promote and sell traditional rugs. My name is Jose Buenaventura Gonzalez. Yes, I'm from, I'm born in this town, Teotitlán del Valle. Um, well, I started my own business in 1987, but before that, I did work with a lot of family because I need to work very young, you know, and uh, my father did teach me about weaving a little bit. But I practice more with each family because each family has a little bit different technique, what to do. Here we are about uh, four. Four people. Yeah, four people with my kids. And most of, the, most of them now is more like, uh, they study more, they do it more like on vacation. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, constantly. Okay. The one that we've been here is mostly, I'm weaving more time now when I'm here. Okay. So when they, when they come back at night or weekends, but when they are on vacation, mm -hmm. they come and weep. I have uh, three brothers and three sisters, but they live in different house, house and they weep to different, different uh, like they, they, they each of us open our own uh, store mm -hmm. or find how to sell our rugs. Okay, so it's, it's changing, you know. Okay. Mostly who does carding and spinning more now is uh, women. Okay. They, do, they do like half kilo a day, mm -hmm. you know, like four hours carding and four hours, close to six to eight hours, okay. do, so or mostly a kilo when they work very hard to do a kilo of, of wool. So if, if I want to do the whole process, this is like a kilo and a half. Okay. In his workshop, Jose explained that he once had a very good stable job that he gave up to pursue weaving full time. He enjoys being able to work on his rugs his own way and at his own pace. He said that he cared so much about preserving the traditional weaving practices that he didn't mind taking a downgrade in his lifestyle. Weaving is a part of these people who live in Teotitlan Divai. It is a gift from their ancestors and they are trying everything to preserve it.